Good morning, everybody. Um, Pat will be here in a minute. Yeah. Yeah. I want to uh, thank thank everybody for um, for your response to to yesterday's video. Um, it seems like these give give these videos a title. And they, they attract. Morning. <laughs> they attract people. It got a lot of views to yesterday's videos, and I think that were all down to the the blooming title. Um, but anyway, I got a lot of reaction from people about it. And, um, uh, one, uh, well, quite a few of you <coughs> uh, noticed that I was down. Hmm, they did. Oh, did they? Um, Alright. Um, yeah. yeah. There's a reason for that. Um, we're not going into uh, a great deal of detail about it, but um, our daughter, Tracy, has been let down badly by the National Health Service. Um, and she's not going to be let down by us. And from now on, from this day forward, everything that we do, Tracy takes priority. She's got to, we've got to get Tracy sorted out. Um, and that means all, all the plans, everything that we've um, been planning to do and this, that and the other, all take second place. Um, we've got to... We've got Tracy's not well, and we've got her. She's getting worse, and we've got to step in and, and sort it all out. So, what happens um, from this point on? I don't know. We we sold up to live in a van, <coughs> and we're here now. And this situation, I mean, who would have known um, when we sold up in two thousand and sixteen? that around the corner was going to be this wretched pandemic. Mm. And not only did that ruin ruin everything for us, for, because of everybody going out and deciding to go camping, motor roaming mm. and caravanning, and that's just made life hard for us. Logistics have all got turned upside down. I don't know whether that's the pandemic or Brexit, but that's making it, pardon me, that's making it hard, made it hard just to do what we do uh, as well. Mm -hmm. And and then this situation with Tracy, um, where the, the health service has just gone virtually belly up and they've just abandoned her. Mm -hmm. um, and... We can't understand it really because the pest of meat are death. Well, with this, that, and that's the that. inconsistency of it. Yeah. They keep sending you bowel screening things, yeah, and yet they can't even deal with the, with nine million people who are waiting. Mm. I mean, Tracy's among uh, a lot of people who are waiting for treatment mm. and can't get it. Um, but she's gonna get it, even. Um, mm. we have to step in and make sure she gets it and that that changes everything so yeah. where we go from here we don't know um, no. but I'm not I'm not I do not feel comfortable charging around the country if our Tracy is, is ill here on her own it's just just not going to happen no. Um, so um, that's that. That's so, why he was a bit down yesterday because he, he was he's been thinking about Tracy and it preys on your mind, doesn't it? Yeah. 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 But but she she takes priority. Where we go from here all depends on what happens with Tracy um, from now on. Okay. That's that. Enough of the down. Um, 
And I've had a, I've had a video, uh, sorry, I've had a Listen. comment uh, from a subscriber who wants to see Ernie. Now, she, she will, probably don't realise, we did do a little bit of film about Ernie, but um, I, I, I can never find these past videos. Um, <coughs> so, I'll show you. Our Ernie's walking around the kitchen right now. Well, he's pretty ugly. Come on. Hello. Hello, Ernie. What are you doing? You want a strawberry? Hmm? Strawberry? You want a strawberry? Now, every morning when we're here, uh, Pat puts Ernie in a little shallow bath of tepid water. Apparently, tortoises don't drink much, they absorb uh, water through the skin, apparently. That's it's, what she was told by the vet. He has dried food as well, doesn't he? That, yeah. Um, that's, you have to soak in water as well. He's coming to you. He is, isn't he? Hi, Ernie. Ernie. And uh, Pat feeds him with... Um, if you show on this side, you can see where he got... Now, Can you see where he got bit? Ah, Tracy rescued Ernie, uh, and you'll see a lump out of his shell there, there. where he got here, here, where he got attacked by dogs, and, and a bit on this side as well. Yeah, but he was only tiny when that happened. Oh yeah, he, he was probably about that big. <laughs> really? Yeah. As small as yeah, that. Yeah, when Tracy got him, he was. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, size he is, maybe less. So there you go. Oh, yeah, there you are. Yeah, it's just a shame that we've no actual grass for him. Yeah, because it's, it's a paved garden. There's no grass out there, but occasionally we get a dandelion, and he does like the dandelions. <laughs> Don't yeah, you? Does. You like the dandelion leaves? Mm -hmm. yes. um, yeah, and I made a little bit of film about yesterday because we did, as I said in the film, we did eventually decide to take David's car uh, and to do to go to Weatherby Whaler and do a shop. We didn't get any trousers for poor little Pat. No. Because we didn't really take enough notice of the size you needed. Mm. These are size six short. Yeah. Six. And, it, and then I had to take them up. And yeah. Mm. So that's what we should have been looking for. Yeah. So everything Pat tried on it just didn't look right. Well, no good. Um, and you couldn't try him on in George, could you? We went to they George as well the... as at M and S, and they they've shut the changing rooms down, so she couldn't try him on there. So that one no good. Um, the so... ones I did try on in Max and Spencer's didn't look right, did they? No. no. Oops! Sorry, Ernie. Oh, he's oh, under. He's under the table. Under the table. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Sorry, Ernie. Yeah. So we didn't. Didn't do very well there, did we? Ah, what? Really shocked how much fish and chips had gone up. Twenty eight pounds for for fish for and chips. For two senior twice. citizens. Two two seniors. Twenty eight quid. I mean, it was lovely fish and batter. But, um, the cat would never go anywhere where batters are thin and no. crisp, do we? No. No matter where you go. Yeah, they know how to do fish um, and chips. Yeah, and they were, they were quite busy for a Tuesday, weren't they? And there's a sign, when you walk in the door, um, there's a sign, and it says all our fish and chips are cooked in lard, and that makes all the difference. Mm, Very unpopular nowadays, yeah. with all this veganism that's going about, but that's the only way to cook fish and chips, is yeah. in lard. Um, really? It is. I think that's why people keep going back and... They're so busy, don't they? We were shocked, really, because they only had two staff on. And I mm. said to the girl when she come to service, are you short-staffed? And she says, no, we, 
we only ever have two on a Tuesday. It's normally dead. But it, it was. Well, they were so, really piling in, weren't they? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. They were. Asda were quiet. Yeah. Marks and Spencers were quiet. Yeah. Yeah, Asda were really quiet. I'm not surprised. There were, there were things that Asda didn't have, I noticed. Don't ask me what, but I noticed that there were a, a shelf. What? With different things on it, oh. where where things were before, there were like bottles of wine and things that end at row, oh, which right. they're not usually there in oh. wine. So, right, something were missing. I don't know what. Oh, the old guys mm. there spotted that, <laughs> and there's no no Warburton's crumpets. Not there. No. Um, but they did have some meatless sausage, Aye. which sometimes they don't have them, but they had plenty today, yesterday rather. Uh, and you're planning on going out for a walk with Mick today, aren't you? Yeah, Mick's coming over. In fact, he'll be here within the next five minutes. Oh, will really? he? said he'd be here around about 11. All oh, right. So he'll be here shortly. So right. I didn't do any work on my drawing yesterday. And I won't be doing any today, I don't think, because I'm out with Mick. Um, but thank you for your compliments and your encouragement. Um, yeah, uh, I mm. think it does, doing that filming me drawing does show more the work that goes into them. Yeah. Yeah. The, the actual length of time yeah. it takes me to do one, um, mm. which when I, previously I was just taking snapshot photographs of the progress. Yeah. Um, so they didn't really know how long it took. No. I mean, it takes you ages to do one little bit, don't it? Yeah. Um, the, the, the pastel drawings um, don't. don't tend to take as long. Sometimes they're, they're like magic, sometimes they just come and within an hour I've done one. So mm. they're amazing. And then other times they can all go wrong. But I tend to do pastels on, on the easel. Mm. I like to be upright when I'm doing them and I haven't found a way to film them then. Um, mm. the, the position of the easel and when if I stand the camera in the window, you can't see oh, the drawing right. for me. For, right. I get in the way of the camera. Right. It really needs to be on this side, but right. the tripod don't go high enough. Um, oh. Oh, I'll have to have a look at that and see if we can come up with a different position. Maybe, yeah. You might have to move the easel. Hmm. Yeah, Put it near wardrobe so that you've got your desk behind you and you can stand your tripod on desk. Ah, maybe so, yeah. <clears throat> that could be an idea. Yeah. Now I'll think about that. Yeah. Mm. Try it out. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so am I preparing some food for me when it comes? Or well, it did. He did say something about, yeah, I don't know what he said actually, um, about, he mentioned mushy peas or something. Oh, mushy peas. Did you peas. give them, when they came last time, did you feed them? And did it include mushy peas? No, no, it didn't. What, what it, lentil soup or what? what no, it? we did, I did tomato soup and hot dogs and, you know, vegan sausage. Did you? Yeah. Last time they came. Wow. I don't we fried remember. onions and... Do you? Wow, yeah. I don't remember that. Yeah. I'm wondering about a bean casserole or something, veg casserole. But I, it won't be ready. Oh, no, I don't think he... he I think he was wanting to go... Go for a walk and then come He back. wants to look at this milk that's been all been done. Oh, I'll put fast. Yeah. 
<coughs> there's an art gallery there, yeah. and there's um, o- o- lots of other things going on right. in the mill complex um, <coughs> in, in Farsley. He wants to have a look at it. Right. Um, oh, well, what I'll do is I'll prepare a... And then come back. Yeah, and, and then, and then if, to if you don't want it, well, we'll have it for tea, and if you, if you do, it's, it's right. there, isn't it? Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Yeah. No. Otherwise, I've got some idea. <clears throat> yeah. Because we bought a load of eggs yesterday, didn't we? Yeah. Uh, we'll do that. When Ernie's had his bath and his strawberry. <laughs> is he having strawberries today? Yeah, I bought some strawberries, didn't I? That is if Felicia hadn't eaten them all. I oh. did see her getting them out last night. <laughs> yeah, she did. <laughs> She did request the strawberries. Oh, did she? She's a strawberry girl. Ah. Sits and, eat, and eats them on the night, which is a good thing. Yeah, it True. is. Yeah. 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 She don't eat sweets much, but she's a, a cho- chocolate, chocolate addict. addict. Yeah. She's not an hard boiled sweet or a, you know, chewy things, is no. she? But she does like chocolate. Chocolate. And Grandad Bill brings a load of chocolate when he comes to visit. <laughs> Did he bring a load on Sunday? Um, well, I think he brought some, but not not as much as he normally does. And big bags of crisps. <laughs> That's David's dad. Mm. <laughs> he came on Sunday with his other grandchildren. Yeah. Well, one of his granddaughters and great-grandchildren. Yeah, he did, yeah. Aye. Yeah. Yeah. Brought them all across to see David and I hid away in, in <laughs> our room. <laughs> yeah, <it's... laughs> I'm allergic to children. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, oh. Ah, yeah, we're finished. Right, yeah, right, yeah, I think yeah. that's that. Well, that's it for today. Yeah. So, see you tomorrow. All being well. Okay. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Well, we finished up. We borrowed David's car. He's put me on his insurance. He says it's there whenever you need it. Um, so we decided to come in car. We got parked at Weatherby Whale. We just had lunch. I had just fish and chips. I can't eat all them. Right, right. Hey everybody. Well, in the end, we, um, I t- uh, you know, I, I don't know if I mentioned it, but David, my son-in-law, has put my, my name, he's added me to his insurance on his car. Um, he has a van which he goes to work in. And um, we decided today um, to take David's car up, um, up to Weatherby Wheeler so we could park in their car park. And we, we did, we, we had lunch um, there. Just did a tiny film of it. And uh, then we went to, uh, down to Marks and Spencer's and I tried to get Pat some trousers, but uh, then he's uh, picked out about four or five pair took them into the all between size from size eight to ten took them to the uh, in, into the changing rooms and they were the wrong length um, they didn't fit so we went into Asda to do some shopping and called in downstairs at George found quite a few pair down there but they didn't have a changing room she couldn't try them on so we we never got any, so we did did a shopping in Asda and came came home. So that's our day today. Uh, yeah. <laughs>